2019 kicked my ass, but 2020 will definitely be our year. Right, Em? If you want, it's Ellie Fox. Today's video is going to be all about reading challenges. So we're going to look back on 2019 at my three main reading challenges, kind of looking which one went well, which one did not go so well, and letting you know what changes I am doing for 2020, letting you know the challenges you have to look forward to looking at. And yeah, a few changes. So it's kind of why I want to just have this very casual, relaxed video about reading challenges. Do you participate in them? Do you like them? Do you prefer like certain types or like very structured ones? Do you prefer just relaxed reading vlog type ones? Feel free to comment in the comment section because I'm actually curious to uh, hear what you guys think, how you feel about them. Anyway, like I said, uh, in 2019, I had three main ones. The first one was my big book reading challenge, which I had done also the year before. The first year actually went well, actually. I'm pretty sure it went pretty well. Last year, not so much in my defense. Excuses time. Uh, I did, you know, get pretty sick at the beginning of the year, then had like major surgery, major double jaw surgery. And then I had a big move, which was really essentially the one that made me the most behind on my goal. Uh, out of the 12 books slash, I technically only required myself to read like 10. I ended up reading seven, no, eight. Oh, that's actually not that bad. In my head, I did worse. Still, eight out of officially 12 uh, books. So not so great. Didn't really uh, end up finishing it. I kind of gave up really by the end. We all saw that. So like I said, it was my second year attempting it. And it just, you know, it got, I got overwhelmed just saying it. Uh, it's quite a bit of pressure to try and like force yourself every month to read and commit to a specific book that is over 500 pages. I did continue reading them. Like I'm pretty sure every month I read, I read at least one big book. So it wasn't necessarily the big books. I think it was just the constraint of being forced to read a specific one that just got a bit much with the rest of my life being stressful. I am officially abandoning it for 2020, at least for a year to just take a break. I realized it was just the one that made me the most anxious and just gave me the most stress. So it's not worth it for me at the moment. I'm not abandoning reading big books. Like I said, I was doing it anyway. Uh, it just, two years in a row might've been a bit much. Maybe I'll just switch things around every year. Maybe I'll just take a break for a year, do it again next year. We shall see, but that one will not happen this year. My next reading challenge for 2019 was to read, I always do every year, like a 19 books that I wanna read in 2019. I did very poorly in that one. <laughs> I told myself again, oh, this year's gonna be different. And I think I ended up reading like five out of the 19 I named. So for 2020, we're making some changes. What I'm actually going to be doing is, I'm still gonna do 20 in 2020, even though it's starting to become quite big amount of books to read, but I read about 100 books a year, so 20 becomes like a fifth of them. It, it might be a bit much, but we'll test it one more year. Uh, what I will be doing is picking 20 books that I am dying to read, because obviously the books that I choose every year are books that I do wanna read, but I've noticed a pattern where I avoid reading some books, especially the ones on my shelves that I am really excited to read because I think I like having them on my shelf to look forward to because I know like, oh, you know, wh whatever happens, I have that joy in the future, easily accessible that I can just grab and read slash I'm a little afraid I will not enjoy them. It has happened a few times that I'm like, oh, I have that book, I really am dying to read it. And then I read it and I'm really disappointed. So I think it's kind of a mix of both, but uh, we're fixing that this year. So I will be choosing 20 books that I am really, really dying to read put them in a jar and every month I will be picking one at least. And then there will be a few, a few things that will happen throughout the year, but at least one every month uh, in the hope basically that I will read all 20 or at least more than five like this year before the end of the year. So uh, last year I also did my Goodreads reading challenge for the first year. And I am pretty sure this is something I will continuously do every single year because it's fun. If you don't know, I did do videos on this, but beginning of the year, basically I'm looking back on the Goodreads Choice Award. Basically they do a popular <laughs> vote 
for a few different categories and people are just allowed to vote for the books that they want to see win and they become the best in each category so like best fiction best fantasy book blah 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 and this year they actually changed it now there's 20 categories the year before there were 21 so uh, out of all of them i think i'm doing 16 17 categories and uh there will be a separate video all in details letting you know which books i'm choosing basically i'm reading the winners and or at runner ups and then I will do my own award show at the end of the year to let you know which one should have won in my heart. <laughs> I did the same thing for last year. So I actually just did the beginning of December at my own award show. I will link that down below if you are interested. It was a lot of fun. It was a little hit and miss like book reading wise, just because obviously just they are all books that were uh, that came out that year, right? So it doesn't mean that they're all going to be amazing. Uh, I did discover some new favorite ones, and then some of them were kind of disappointing, even though they had wonder categories. So it was interesting to just force myself to read more recent books. That's something I enjoyed doing. That way I can actually let you know which ones I thought were worth uh, the read or not. So yeah, some categories more <laughs> were more difficult to read than others, but that's kind of part of the fun to just get out of my comfort zone and not just read fantasy sci-fi. <laughs> so like I said, I will be doing that in 2020. Uh, the video will go up like any minute now and uh, you're gonna be able to see which books I'm planning on reading and then you can feel free to read them with me. That way you can also vote at the end of the year whenever I do the award show. One last thing, I am planning on doing at least one monthly challenge. I debated talking about it in events, but I feel like it's gonna be more fun if you don't know in advance. I'll announce them uh, either in my TBR beginning of each month if it's like a monthly challenge because some of them will be. Uh, some of them are going to be more like a weekly, like I read X type of book, X amount of book, whatever specific team that I will not spoil here. And uh, you'll just see them when they happen. But yes, monthly reading challenges. I thought it was just going to be a little bit more fun doing it that way. Hopefully you enjoy it. Feel free to leave any recommendation down below. That's another benefit of not announcing them in advance. That way I can always switch things around if something happens. But yes, I definitely have more than 12 ideas. So there might be months that there are like two smaller ones instead of a big one. And yeah, I'm definitely uh, willing to adapt if you have any good idea. Which means that I will be doing more reading vlogs because some of these definitely benefit from being like a reading vlog instead of a total wrap up at the end of the month. You can kind of see how they go. I know a lot of you wanted to see more reading vlogs. So it's like a ooh, two in one. That's, that's the expression. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to announce that. But that also means that I'm not sure how many readathons I will be doing. I know that every year I do the book two batons during the summer. So, well, except last year because <laughs> I had surgery, but uh, that will happen. But if you have any specific one you think I really should do, let me know because I always try and research them and like plan, but things get overwhelmed when you have too many things to follow at the same time. But yeah, a lot less reading vlog, uh, readathons, but more reading vlogs. <laughs> Another thing I'm really excited to announce is that because of Patreon, if you don't follow me there, I will link my page. You can support my channel, which is always nice. I'm very, very grateful. Um, I will make you vote on that uh, for some specific team videos whenever we get to the goals because I will be doing more best of in each category. So I just did a best post-apocalyptic book video. I will link that down below. Um, and then I'm planning on doing more whichever are voted, you know, the most popular ones. Uh, either I do a part two of my beginner's, beginner's guide to sci-fi or I could do a um, intermediate, that's the word in English. Intermediaire at level one. Um, it could be like a best first contact with alien. I have a bunch of ideas or I could redo some concepts I've done in the past. So if you want me to read more one star reviews of books that I gave five stars to and vice versa, the ones that reading reviews that are five stars of books that I gave one star to because you <laughs> really enjoyed those. So I can definitely do that uh, if they are the options that are the most voted on Patreon. I'm also committing to posting twice a week at a minimum. We'll see how things go, but that is my plan <laughs> right now. Uh, fingers crossed everything will go well, but I think that the fact that the, some of the challenges will be like weekly vlogs will definitely help too. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, but yes, that is my promised attempting to do. Promised attempt? <laughs> I promise I'm going to try. Let's, let's just put it that way. So yeah, 
I really want to be able to post more. I feel like I've been able to do more since I moved. Not that it really showed because it was my end of the year series, which meant I posted every two days, which was ridiculous and Emily needs some sleep. I was not able to read as much as I wanted because I had to just work and then work and then work and then edit videos and then work and <laughs> did not sleep a lot, but it was totally worth it. I'm really happy that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And I can't wait for next year, but I mean, I need to read more books since before that. So ends all the reading challenges. <laughs> Words are so hard. Can you tell I need more sleep? I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. Damn, that went faster than I thought. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, please feel free to leave a comment to let me know if you have any specific ideas for reading challenges because I do have a pretty ridiculous list. But like I said, if you have any great ideas, I would love to add them to said list. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Uh, it was suggested that I do a book club for Patreon and I want to in the future, but I just wanted to officially announce that right now, I'm not planning, planning on doing it just because as you can see, I have a lot on my plate right now. And uh, we've noticed also from last year that I tend to choke under pressure. I just crack, I do really well in the beginning and then I choke, that, that's the story of my life. Um, so that's why for now I am not committing to it. Uh, I am willing to try and like letting you vote on a book that you wanna read that I'm also reading in my TBR that I announced or something. <sighs> We can talk about it <laughs> and negotiate something. But like right now, I'm not sure I can commit to it. But once I feel comfortable that I have my shit together, I am more than willing to add that to my list. <laughs> so that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed, thumbs up, subscribe, because like I said, there are a few videos coming up announcing the details for each challenge. But I just wanted to talk about the ones that, you know, odd things went last year. Look back and kind of just adapt for the next year. So feel free to also join me in all of these. I, I will also be putting more videos on the screen that I recommend you check out and I will see you in my next video. Bye.